I'm going to show you how I used Node and JavaScript to template HTML emails. Now, the first thing that we needed uh, was a template for the email content to fit into. So I created a file called template.js inside of an includes folder. And inside that module, this is going to be a Node module, I export two functions, one named link and one named table. There's only one variable in here, and that'll be a paragraph style I'll explain in a second. So for the link function, it accepts one thing, a URL, and it transforms that URL into a string that has the HTML A tag with the href attribute set to the URL, the title set to the URL. The URL is also the content of the tag, and then the tag itself is closed. So anytime the link function is run with the URL, you end up with an HTML A tag with the URL in all the places you need it. Now, the other thing that we're doing in here is this is an entire HTML document. And in the HTML document, we have a CSS style sheet in the head. And we have an HTML table element inside the body and a bunch of line breaks at the bottom. Now, the only thing that we're feeding into this table function is some content. And this is going to be an array. And each item in the array is going to represent the content of one paragraph tag that's going to go inside our table. So here we have our table, and there's only one table cell in one row in the whole table body. Inside that single table cell, this is where our content gets turned into individual paragraph tags. So I mentioned that it's an array. So what we're going to do with that array is we're going to map it. And for each line in the array, we're going to turn it into this string. So you can kind of think about it as here's the original line in the array, and we're adding this before it, and we're adding this after it. So it's going to wrap it in a p tag. Now that style that we have here, uh, the inline style for each of our p tags is the value of this p style variable. And we've set it here to sans serif and line height 1.4. So we're going to need that on every single p tag. We also want to output it in the style sheet in the head. So we use the same variable there, and then we can make one change to this line and change it everywhere in the whole document. Now, after we've transformed our content array into all of these paragraph tags, we're going to join them with a line break and just about as many spaces here as if we made a line break and wanted it that far from the edge. When we output this, we should see the TD with the P tags uh, properly indented right down to the bottom. And that's it. So this is going to be logged to the console, and we're going to use this on the command line to generate the HTML that we need. So using these two functions, the table function and the link function, let's build a little demo module that we can turn into HTML, and then I'll show you how I actually use it for the other templates. I'm going to create a file called test.js. And in here, we're going to bring in the link function and the table function. So it's in our includes folder, and it's named template.js. And I'm going to bring in the table function. And I'm going to do the same thing for the link. So now if we run the table function, and I said that it had a content array, and each item in the array was wrapped in a p tag. If I save this and run this, we should get back an HTML document with one p tag that says hello. So I'm going to hop over to the command line and say node test.js. And we get back an HTML document with one properly indented p tag with our inline style, both in the tag as well as in the style sheet at the top. And it says hello. If I were to add a second line to that, we should see two p tags, and we do. So this is a way that we can mark up the paragraphs in an HTML email and wrap them with exactly the styles and uh, layout that we need. Uh, here I've made the table width 300 as well as the table cell width 300. Um, we could wrap this entire table in a center tag if we wanted it to be center aligned. Right now it's left aligned. Um, there's a lot that we can do uh, 
let's test that link function. I can actually just uh, do it in its own p tag here. And here we have the A with the URL that we gave it here, here, and here. Uh, of course, you could put that inside of a template string as well. Just a link. If you wanted to include text around that. So with that setup, what I've been able to do then is encode all of these emails. Um, so it imports the two functions. We have our array where each paragraph is a separate string. Uh, they are JS template strings so that we can use this interpolation anywhere that we want to output the links. And what I've done here in the shell script, now this is for bash, um, the shell that you can run here. I say for each email uh, in the current folder, any file name .js, uh, do the following. And it's going to echo, so on the command line, it's going to say building HTML slash the file name of the email minus JavaScript, and then it's going to say .html. And then it's also going to use Node to actually process that JavaScript file and it's going to take the output of that node process and it's going to save it to HTML slash the name of the email minus the JS file extension plus HTML. So if we run that, we should end up with one HTML file for each email that we have inside of our HTML folder. So that's right here. It's empty right now. Uh, let's run this and see if we can build our HTML emails. So we see each of them being output. And now we have all of these HTML files. And this is the preview. So this is exactly what we wanted to end up with. And now we have an easy way that we can edit the content and use things kind of like macros to help us write the content without having to work in HTML.